Hey guys, Bar from TST Industries here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install the TST Industries Gen 2 flasher relay on a Honda CRF250L. If you've removed your OEM signals and changed over to some sort of a LED signaling system, you'll get the hyper flash typically associated with using LED signals in place of OEMs and that's because you're drawing much less current with the LED lamps than with your OEM signals. So you could either wire in resistors, which we provide with some of our components, or you could step up to the Gen 2 flasher relay. I always recommend the flasher relay because it is a plug and play component. It takes about two minutes to install, and it also enables you to adjust your flash rate in case you're not satisfied with the 85 cycles per minute that it comes pre-configured to. You can slip off the gray cover, and use a micro Phillips screwdriver to adjust up or down and that'll let you dial in that flash rate that you like. For me personally, I always leave it at OEM spec, 85 cycles per minute, but we give you the freedom to choose, so choice is up to you. All right, so let's jump on over to the bike and install this thing. To gain access to the OEM relay location, we will need to remove this black shroud. To do that, I will use a five millimeter Allen on this fastener here. And the remaining two are quarter turn type plastic fasteners. Once you unlock it, it looks like this, and then you just pull it out. There are two of them. And now you can slide this up and over the filler neck of your reservoir and put it to the side and we can identify the flasher relay here. This is your OEM unit. It's mounted on this rubber keeper that goes onto this tab on the frame. To unlock it, we'll need to strip off the rubber boot and there is a locking tab here that you press and pull away. All right, so now we'll grab this rubber keeper, take it off the OEM setup, and get it installed in our relay in the same fashion. Plug this relay in, plugs in the same way as the OEM relay. Slip the boot over and get it back onto those tabs on the frame. Now we can jump up to the top, power on the bike, and test the system. As you can see, it is flashing at the correct rate. If you want to adjust it, you can strip off that gray cover. Remove the circuit board. Make sure that you don't touch the circuit board or any of its components to so anything else on the frame. And like I said earlier, the micro adjust, you can slow things down drastically, or speed them up to a crazy speed. So somewhere in between there is probably a setting that you'll like. I will leave it here. It looks close enough to OEM. Slip the cover back on. There is a channel here that fits the circuit board. The circuit board must be inserted in that fashion. Once it snaps, back onto the tab. I'll power down the bike and reinstall everything in the reverse order of disassembly. I'll go with my push fasteners first. And then my five millimeter Allen head screw. And the installation is complete. All right, so as you can see in about two minutes, you can have a professional great installation and stable flash rate. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you next time.